broadcasting from Studio 300 on Cal Poly's campus. You're watching Mustang News. Good morning, Mustangs. Today is Wednesday, January 15th. I'm Katie McDermott. Mustang News starts now. Prices at the pump are on the rise. Gas prices have gone up eight cents in the past month. The average price across the nation is $3.31 right now. That compares to $3.74 for a regular gallon of gas in San Luis Obispo. Outrageously high, and, and it, like I said, it really determines kind of cost of living, cost of food, cost of everything for everyone. They need to get lower. I don't know how they're going to get lower. Um, there needs to be some sort of alternative fuel available. Locally, gas prices have gone up four cents from one month ago. If you're looking for the cheapest gallon of gas in the state, Sacramento's average price is $3.50. The highest average price ever nationwide was $4.11 in 2008. In Slow, the highest price was $4.75 in 2012. Although San Luis Obispo didn't feel the effects of the Northeast snowstorms earlier this month, some Cal Poly students had trouble making it back to California for the start of winter quarter. Temperatures as much as 70 degrees below zero led to snow and ice storms, which caused thousands of flight delays and cancellations across the Midwest and Northeast. Child development major Mariah Lanfer is from Maine, and she planned on getting to San Luis Obispo on Friday before school began. Instead, she's still unpacking her bags. We book a new flight for Sunday, and then that flight got or canceled because of the storm in Chicago. And then I had to get on a flight on Tuesday morning, and then that flight got canceled, and then I got another flight, and then that flight was delayed. So I didn't get back to LAX until like, I think it was like 6 p.m. Tuesday night. Lanfer says despite missing the first two days of class, all professors were understanding and she isn't behind on any of her schoolwork. Cal Poly students continue to get more bang for their buck this school year. Cal Poly was ranked 43rd on Kiplinger's Top 100 Best Value in Public Universities for 2014. The university earned the ranking because of its high four-year graduation rate, academic quality, and affordability. Cal Poly President Jeffrey Armstrong says rankings like this show that Cal Poly is working hard to fulfill its mission of providing students with access to top-notch education at a reasonable price. Senior linebacker Johnny Millard will represent Cal Poly this Saturday at the 89th East-West Shrine Game at Tropicana Field in St. Petersburg, Florida. Millard started at inside linebacker and recorded three tackles at last week's Medal of Honor Bowl for the National All-Stars. This week, Millard gets the opportunity to play under former head coach of the Kansas City Chiefs, Romeo Cornell. In his career as a Mustang, Millard is ranked sixth all-time with 300 tackles and is the fifth Cal Poly player chosen to play in the East-West Shrine game. If you've walked past the Performing Arts Center recently, you might have noticed it looks a little bit different. That's because Cal Poly just installed three new sculptures on the Pack Plaza. today to officially welcome the new artwork. The Colin family donated the spheres in honor of Ken Colin, who was an architecture professor here at Cal Poly. President Jeffrey Armstrong was there to thank the family for their donation. What a wonderful day. The artist, Ivan McLean, welded the stainless steel pieces, a skill he learned during his time at Cal Poly. There's a connection, like the large one has 2,200 feet of rod. And it's kind of, they're all cut into little segments from anywhere from an inch and a half to probably four and a half inches. And it's kind of that idea is that like any, anything can be made out of thousands of little pieces into one coherent unit, like a performance. The balls weigh anywhere between 500 and 900 pounds each. McLean says he wants students to enjoy his artwork, but... Not to climb on them, okay? <laughs> The group you saw unveil one of those spheres in the video, that was a group of people who graduated from Cal Poly in 1965. The entire Colon family has also gone to Cal Poly. ASI is going to be hosting a new kind of musical entertainment in the university, Union, starting today. They'll be hosting a live acoustic series that only features student musicians. The students were contacted after playing in KCPR's open mic night during fall quarter. The music goes from 12 to 2 p.m. in the UU Plaza. ASI is also hosting a movie in Chumash Auditorium tonight. They are showing The Butler at 8 p.m. The movie is free with a poly card and includes free candy, popcorn, and sodas. The movie they're showing next week is Gravity. 
If you enjoy cooking or even just cooking shows, then the Performing Arts Center has just the show for you. British celebrity chef Robert Irvine is putting on an interactive cooking show that brings his TV show Dinner Impossible to life. The show features several different culinary challenges with multiple cameras on stage to give a close-up of Irvine as he works. The show is tonight at 7.30. Tickets are on sale on the PAC website. That's Mustang News for today. Head to mustangnews.net for constant coverage on all your Cal Poly news. You can also watch our weekly half-hour shows on Charter Channel 19, Campus Channel 2, and UHTV Channel 7. Thanks for tuning in, Cal Poly.